Welcome everyone to this next video lesson. Make sure you have paper and pencil out ready to copy some good notes. And here we go. So this lesson is called writing a system of equations from context. So all we're going to do everybody is we're going to set up the system, right? We're not going to solve the system. We're just going to set up the system based on the information that is in the uh, word problem. So it says Kylie went to the grocery store and bought three apples and four bananas, right? So we know A is going to be apples, right? And B is going to stand for bananas. So immediately I want you to write down A plus B is going to equal something. We just don't know how, what, what it's going to equal, right? So again, Kylie uh, went into the grocery store and bought three apples and four bananas, costing a total of $6.50. Well, there you go. There you go. $6.50. Okay. Next, Lily, I guess her friend, right, went into the same grocery store uh, and bought 10 apples and five bananas, right? So uh, Lily also bought apples plus bananas and she spent seventeen dollars and fifty cents All right so Kylie let's go back bought three apples so it's going to be 3a and four bananas it's going to be 4b and Lily bought 10 apples so 10a 10 apples and five bananas 5b Next, it says, write a system that can be used to determine the price of each apple and the price of each banana. So this is when we go to our drop down here and A means apples and is going to be the price of each apple and the price of each banana. It tells us here, see, price of each apple, price of each banana. Once we have that, no solving, I'm going to hit submit. Are we sure? Yes. There we go. Look at that. All right. Let's try another example. Okay. Let's try one that's a little different. Let's see. Ah, this one. Okay. So Mackenzie works as a salesperson at an electronic store and sells phones and phones accessories. So I'm going to say phones. Now I'm not going to say phone accessories because it's the same letter. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use, oops, sorry. I'm going to use A. I hit enter accidentally there, A. So phones, so it's going to be phones plus accessories is going to equal something. We'll see. Mackenzie earns a $10 commission for every phone she sells and a $4 commission for every accessory she sells. Okay, so 10 bucks for every phone and four bucks commission for every accessory. On a given day, Mackenzie made a total of 126 bucks. Huh, total of $126, right? There we go and sold seven more accessories than phones. Seven more. Now this is the key word here. Seven more means plus seven, right? If you have seven more of something, it means you have more of it. You added to what you already have. So seven more accessories than phones, right? So if she has accessories, that's equals to phones plus seven, right? Whatever the phones is, you add seven, see? And that equals to how many accessories? And, okay, now let's, let's define our variables here. Write a system that can be used to determine the, determine the number of cell phones sold, okay? So, the price of each phone? No, the number of cell phones sold and the number of accessories sold. The number of accessories sold. And let's set it up, let's see, we good, we good. There we go, look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
Okay, let's try another one here. Let's see, let's see. Ah, this is a good one. Okay, Josiah works at an electronic store, right? And same thing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, Josiah earns a 2% commission on the total do dollar amount of all phone sales he makes and earns a 7% commission on all computer sales he makes, right? So phones and computers, okay? So we're going, we know it's going to be P plus C is equal to something, okay? Now, Josiah earns 2% commission on phones. So 2% people. Now, people automatically want to put 2, okay? Now, a percentage is different than a decimal. So what we have to do is we have to change 2% to a decimal. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the decimal over twice to the left. So that's 1. And then I put a 0, 2. Then the decimal goes there. 0 0.02. Okay. We do the same thing for 7% on computers. So 7, move the decimal over, 0, move the decimal, 2. See? 2 times over. Okay, how much did he earn total? Uh, Josiah had $300 more in computer sales than in phone sales and earned a total of 156 bucks. So he earned a total of $156, but it said he had $300 more in computer sales than in phone sales. Okay, more. So computers is equal to phone sales plus $300, right? It said $300 more computer sales than phone. So whatever phone was plus 300 is equal to computer sales, right? So, to see what our variables mean, okay, it says write a system of equations that can be used to determine the dollar amount of phone sales Josiah made and the dollar amount of computer sales. So, the dollar amount of phone sales, let's see, the commission, no, the number of dollars in phone sales. The total amount, the number of dollars, the dollar amount in phone sales. Yep. And this one is the dollar amount in computer sales. Here we go. So that looks pretty good. Let me hit enter. There you go. Look at that. Right? Just follow, read the word problem and see exactly what it is that you need to do. Right? So let's do one more here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, let's do one a different one here. All right, let's do a different one. No, I want one that says, ah, this is a good one. Okay, Parker owns a food truck that sells tacos and burritos. Nice. So, tacos, burritos. Okay. Now he sells each taco for three dollars and oh, wait, forgot, forgot, right? T plus B is going to equal something. So go back. He sells each taco for three dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay. So each taco is three dollars and twenty-five cents. What else? Each burrito is seven dollars. Okay. Seven. Let's see how much he made in total. Yesterday, Parker made a total of 552 bucks. Nice. $552. Okay. In revenue from all the burrito and taco sales, and there were twice as many burritos sold as there were tacos. Right? Twice. Now, this is the key word, everyone here. Twice. Twice means two, right? Two times as many burritos as there were tacos. So, we're going to say B, we're going to say T is equal to two times the burritos. Now, let us make sure that we read this correctly. 
twice as many burritos as there are tacos. Hmm. So if B was 10, 10 burritos, then it would be two times 10 is 20. It would be 20 tacos. So more tacos than burritos, but wait a minute. It says twice as many burritos. Ah, so this is what we have to kiddos switch these letters. See, this is where we were off on the letters. Okay, then it says write a system of equations that could be used to determine the number, right? Usually after the determine the number of tacos sold and the number of burritos sold. So the number of tacos sold, the number of burritos sold. There we go. Look at that. Let's hit submit. There we are. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Let's see if we can do one more here. All right. All right. Let's see. I want one that says, uh, no. I think I think that's good. I think we're okay. All right. So Okay. I think we're all right. Um So, uh, your problems are going to be just like one of those examples that we just went through, right? And so um if you guys have any problems, any questions, please ask the next time we're in class. But that should be about it. Okay. So thank you guys for being here. Good luck on this assignment and see you next time.